Hi, my name is Rick Roth, and this video is a course tour of my Geometry A K-12 online course, which was one of the Blackboard Catalyst Award recipients for Exemplary Course Program in 2013. I'm a full-time mathematics teacher in the North Hill School District in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but I developed this course for BlendedSchools.net. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the BSN staff at Blended Schools not only for the opportunity to develop a course for them, but also for the high expectations that they hold me to and for the high quality of training that I've received from them over the years. I also want to mention my superintendent and assistant superintendent at North Hills, thanking them for their vision in terms of online learning and blended learning. With that, let's get on with the tour of Geometry A. Let's begin our course tour here of Geometry A in Unit 3, Parallel Lines and Congruent Triangles. We start off with our big idea, and then we jump right into the project introduction. We don't want students to ask us, when are we going to use this in real life? We want to show them right away by giving them a high-level task at the beginning to think about. And this goes along with the mentality of Common Core, of starting with a high-level task and building your knowledge from there. We want them thinking about this project as they complete each lesson. And then at the end of the unit, in the unit assessments, we don't just give them a unit test. We immerse them into the real-life situation with a grasp project the goal, the role, the audience, the situation, and performance. We give them a role, we give them an audience, and make it a real-life situation and a high-level task that they have to complete using the knowledge that they gained in the unit. And then we, of course, give them a rubric to be assessed by. Let's go back into the unit. We feel vocabulary is very important in geometry, and for our vocabulary activities, we link out to studymate.com to activities we set up there rather than just giving them a glossary we'll give them interactive activities if we want students to be able to prove theorems and use these theorems to prove other theorems well they have to have them memorized and it's a lot better to memorize them using interactive activities rather than just staring at a list of words like many of us had to when we took geometry <laughs> As we progress through the unit, the lessons are in lesson folders with the essential question underneath each, each lesson folder. So let's click into lesson four here. And our lessons are in our new Blended Schools 3.0 format, which means the bulk of the lesson is contained in a soft chalk score center platform. And we built most of the lesson within soft chalk and then and then published it into Blackboard. But we, of course, use the Blackboard interactive tools, such as the blogs, the journals, um, the uh, discussion boards or wikis, where we want students talking with each other. And these are tend to be more open-ended, where they need to explain or even check out another student's post and leave a comment that sparks some discussion. We um, have them create problems for other students and then other students solve them almost like going to the board um, in, a, in a regular classroom. When we get into the bulk of each lesson in the soft chalk area, the teacher has little control through the soft chalk score center as you can see here. The teacher can change the grading method because you know, this lesson is total 24 points so the activities in the lesson are worth points and they can take the highest score. They can choose to grade it however they wish. They can give them unlimited attempts or, or you know, whatever they choose there. Um, and they can look at what le other learners have done. When the student clicks into the lesson, they go out to off chalk from that lesson, where they start with the do you know, and getting started is usually an interesting symbol or something, maybe a video or a song that goes along with the lesson. We have particular lesson vocabulary for that. It goes out to studymate.com again. And it's, it's only the uh, vocabulary lesson rather than the entire unit. What I think makes the course unique is um, some presentations I created all from scratch. Um, and 
I wanted the student to see me write as I speak. Um, and I think that's very important in terms of modeling mathematics for the student. So I used a variety of tools, Smart Notebook, and more toward the end of the course, I started to use the apps on the iPad that would help me write and the students see me write clearly as I talk about each topic. Moving on in the lesson, we have our practice section where we use Soft Chalk's interactive activities um, to you know, make the, again to help students study maybe the terms in the lesson or even we do some problems in there. There's different kinds of interactive activities that we can use there. We link out to the internet. There's some great stuff out there. And then we also put our own interactive practice in there um, almost as a homework assignment for the student. And then we end with the check for understanding. And the check for understanding is our lesson quiz. I enjoyed making this course. I had a lot of fun making it and I appreciated the opportunity to make it. I just hope that the students that take it enjoy it and learn some geometry. Thanks.